Good evening, YouTubers. This is Tech Sergeant Mackey. Show you my pretty face, sir. We're out here. We're back at the Lake of the Woods where I had that huge tree branch break and where we have an Indian mound. Uh, it's a little bit before, just a little bit before sunset. So, see, there's just a touch of light left. And I'm out here, of course, with... Uh, cameraman jack and mt paranormal life and we're out doing another investigation out here because we had so much happen the last time we got to come back here again i'm already hearing noises in the woods okay so we're doing an investigation in this area where as always i'm looking for the wildlife predators especially uh, i know in the last one i did catch a fox on the video um and our rock thrower and tree break and I'm already getting rocks thrown interesting that like ricocheted through like three different trees there ping 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 like a pinball I do not have the thermal turned on because it's still a little bit of daylight so uh, and uh, we all branched off right now in different directions and Quite honestly, so I'm still not 100% familiar with the place. Not exactly sure where I'm going. So, but I don't like to use the thermal until we get fully night out so that I can make sure I get good hits. And a lot of bugs out. And they're coming towards the camera light. So, if you see something, hear something, Say something. Drop things in the comments. Uh, this is an interactive channel. Meaning, put your input in here as to what, you know, put your input in here as to what I'm doing. Uh, if I'm panning too quickly, if I'm not panning enough, if I'm not zooming in enough, or whatever you think. Uh, I'm going too pa fast, going too slow, talking too much, all that fun, fun stuff. I just heard another thing hit off of a tree. Now we're gonna go down by this lake. Okay, we got bugs galore out. And it's kind of a steamy evening here. It's still running at 76 degrees. And uh, humidity is only at about 300%. So, and also on um, this, I gotta say, like to have you feel like you're here with me I also hopefully would like to make you laugh okay huh. we've come to a fork in the road and you know as Yogi Berra used to say when you come to a fork in the road take it so there is an Indian mound on this property and uh, I don't know if I'll make it over by that, but this was a, there was a ton of Native American activity that was on this land. Okay, so as I said, in, as in addition to um, the wildlife, we're looking for our rock throwers, Bigfoot, grass man. I'm hearing stuff move. Sasquatch, Yeti, whatever you want to call them. AKA the rock thrower. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna figure out just exactly which direction I wanna go because we're kind of, this is like a peninsula between these two lakes. So I think I'll keep going this way because oh, I do recognize where I'm at. I'm now, and I am heading towards the mound, looks like. And that is a cool, Sunset. Sunset on the lake in the woods. Okay. I will say that I'm in Portage County. Uh, it's an area that cameraman and MT call Claim 2. And Claim 2 is kind of broad. It's a big area. So, uh, this is up here to the Indian Mound. 
this is it right up here. So I will actually show there's like a little stone monument. I do hear a little Buddy Holly plane up above me. Okay, so we are currently on the mound. What I was told about this is that there was a Indian princess, this Hopewell. Okay. Okay. From 300 BC to 600 AD is when this uh, Native Americans lived here. Again, Northern Ohio, we're in Northeast Ohio, Portage County. Uh, but I heard that this was the burial mound of a Indian princess. And it was excavated. I know Kent State University did the excavation. And there are a lot of bugs out. Okay. There's our beautiful lake surrounding this area. Again, I was hearing a bunch of noises. Wanted to get my intro in while we still had some daylight. Again, this is a hiking channel. I will be, for the most part, moving. Uh, I will try to keep the panning uh, controlled. So, this lake here, I know it's it's big enough to have like some jet skis and other things on there, but I think there is no access to that. Uh, the land is blocked off. It's like a controlled watershed for the city of Akron, Ohio. So also, I gotta show you this here. Uh, I'm gonna be testing out a new flashlight as one of my backups. Got the power tack as the main. But I have, it's called a, uh, um, it's called a Pro Series TAC 3000. It claims to be 3000 looms uh, on high and 750 on low. And I'm almost hearing like voices over here. I want to test and see what this one is like if it holds up to it's a tractor supply flashlight so i want to see if it holds up to what it says it'll do i'm definitely hearing some wildlife We're gonna go down from the mound. If you know anything about me, the Native American culture for North America, very fascinating to me. There's some kind of animals over there hooting and hollering. I'm gonna go down on the other side and walk around. Some more, ton of paths back here. Uh, and I know from experience you can get lost real easy back here oh, So we had a big big thunderstorms come through here. I know it knocked down a lot of stuff I thought everything would be a lot more Wet than it really than it has turned out to be Another thing about this Indian mound here it was excavated in the 1930s and then again in 1971, I believe. 
Kent State University has all the artifacts that we found, I guess, on this on display. Okay, I'm hearing a lot of noises, so I'm gonna shut up and we're just gonna, I'm gonna walk and we're just gonna get whatever noises happen. And if I know what the noise is, I will say it. path or a deer path. I think this is over here. You can hear the cicadas. In a beautiful lake. I'm going to try and get a better view over the lake. And I hear another pro propeller job. And I hear some Canadian geese in the background. Pretty rough. Uh, so I'm gonna like, go back. Uh, walking through spider webs. So that looks like it'll lead back up to the Indian Mound. And it does seem to be kind of a common thing with airplanes, these smaller ones. Like I think must be the one of the county airports must be close by. Yes, I'm by the Indian Mound. rest of the crew and they're at different areas of the park and Jack probably heard or heard something and he's confirming that we're not there to around to contaminate the noise or area so <laughs> say again Could you say that again? Do you remember the way that I went? 
Yeah, kind of. Another tree fell. Come this way. And there was just a tree knock. I'm en route. I had a couple rock throws. Okay. So. Okay, right where I had the tree fall over. The, just had another one. And I just seen that was a great blue herring squawking right when the radio was on there. I know what you're going to say, guys. Shut the radio up because we, we just missed some of the nature. And I uh, apologize. Necessary, though. And I'm going to be turning that thermal on here pretty shortly because it is getting... I'm headed your way. Roger that. Okay. So cameraman, uh, is, he actually took a, a back that way, but I think this way might get over to him. See, there's a lot of geese over here in the pond. I get to a clearing. Oh, take a look over there. There. Actually, you can see all the geese. They make a lot of noise, and there's some loons over there, and some other types of ducks, waterfowl. I haven't really looked to my right much. That goes up a hill. I've been kind of eyes forward because I am going to try to get over to where Jack is. I'm hearing some weird noises off to the over the over the lake. getting kind of dark so I think we'll test out the new light here pretty soon so I have my Hole puncher with me, my 10 millimeter one. I left the nine in the car on accident. Now it's like taboo that you do that, but it's in a secure spot. That was why I forgot it. view. 
lot of roots coming up on this path. It's nowhere near as muddy as I thought it was going to be. some geese. Something stirred up the geese. Okay, I think I go this way. Either that or I'm just gonna be very lost. Where are you at? Keep coming. Oh, here. Take down below you. <laughs> okay, there you are. Sorry, I didn't mean to blind you. I could see, I want to see part of him. What's up? Ooh. Yeah, that would get your attention. Yeah, that's the other one. You're not allowed to hit me with things. Did it hit you? No, it landed right next to me. Okay. This thing pushed over a tree. I seen it. I seen this black thing. And I had the camera pointed up at it. And I was like, all right, I'm going to back up. I'm going to back up because it stopped. It knew I was there. Mm -hmm. See you, team, Matt. Keep coming straight. And as soon as I did that, I started backing up. And I started walking back up here. And you could hear it. Alright. Let's go uh Oh yeah. You want some of this action. Yeah. You threw something big at me because it hit right in here. I mean it was close, that's why I told it. You're not allowed to hit me with things because I don't know if it's juvenile or <laughs> Well it's about where you neck with me. Yeah, I don't know if it's a juvenile. That's why I said you're not allowed to hit me with things. But it is really handy. It's back up in here. Then it pushed over a tree. And then it pushed over a tree. I got down here a little bit and it pushed over another one. 
And I was like, okay, okay. Oh, let's go back up. Getting dark enough uh, and put the thermal on. Yeah. The thermal works in the daylight, but it just, it gives, it's harder to interpret. things at me. Mm -hmm. And that last one, when I started walking towards you. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to start the recording on the thermal. Nope, it's just taking snapshots. Hold on. Okay. Nope. Looks like a toy. There we go. And the thermal is started for the hike at the lake in the woods. Okay. So we're 26 minutes into the other one. But we got the thermal video going because it got pretty dark. And we're having some actions. Hmm. Look where we are. Yeah. These trees fell over here. Look where we are. Yeah, we're back in there. Back, back in the area. area. Broke down this early. Well, this was kind of, I mean, we were kind of, I think, at the top of a hill, but it's just yeah. up ahead. Yeah, it was right up there. Give us a tree knock, a scream. I'm gonna do a whoop. Okay. Three, two, one. Whoop! Come on, you push trees over for me and T Mac. Can you do it now? You got the other ones on camera already. On video. You do it again. Oh, maybe I'm antagonizing. I think when there's more than one of us here, I don't think they quite have the same. Uh, how would I say, cojones? Yeah. Some white tree knots. Mm -hmm. Looks like a tree. The heat. And something over here. And I'm getting bugs trying to attack the light. Okay. 
I just heard like an engine rev up, but that's it. I see some fireflies. Which way do you want to? Kill that light. Let's see if they. Because uh, I didn't have my light on. Okay. I wonder if they're thinking like I was stalking them. Or... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I could. I can uh, see if I can. Is this this light's too much. Huh? I gotta see if I can get that. Uh, I think I'd probably have to lend the video and we'll start back up. I think you can leave your... Okay, now we're back. We got the light turned off and the train going by. And we're still checking to see what's going on, but we're lights out, thermals out too, so we don't give away any light. You can see cameraman you can barely see any of his light seeing what kind of reactions we can get with lights out okay. you were getting stuff thrown at you up there I had a couple of rock throws right after you split off from me I had one ricochet through the woods I mean it looked like it pegged off of three trees Ping, 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 like a ping, a pinball. Hmm. I just seen something black come across. That's what I thought I did too. That's why I stepped back. I thought I seen something. Right here, but, right here, right in between something black by that tree it came across and it's right there and it's third put lights on because I can't see anything yeah. straight ahead Let's see if I can get this out can you give us a tree knock Anything in the film? No. Not that I can see. What the hell? Yeah, that. You see, your green light won't show on that at all. I seen something dart across all black. It looked like it stopped there. Maybe it didn't. Guys, I got my walkie back on. Okay. Yes, Copy that. Copy that. Alright, I'll read you. Okay. Look right here. Right there. The lasers hit. Hmm. You see something there? 
straight ahead? No. Right there. The laser's hitting it. Yeah. I guess it... Ooh, I heard something. We just hit a rock throw. Which way do you want to go? I'm going to go this way back up and around. You want me to come? Yeah, if you want to go that way. Okay. See if you can see it. Let's kind of see okay. if you can't drop it in. All right. One second, though. I want to stop this video and... Uh, me and T-Mac were lights out. I've seen something dart across and go back behind these trees. And then it winged a rock over the path. Yeah, and then it threw a rock or something else. So... We're going to see if we can box it in. Okay. So I got the power tack on low. This is a good place to test out the new flashlight, the TAC 300. You see that does a pretty good job. I don't know, uh, I'll have to test it with the power tack on high. So. Okay, so. Especially check out this thermal and if you can see anything let me know I'm gonna try and move over this way Jack is gonna try to hook around Ooh, I just heard a noise there hearing a couple of noises there in the distance. I'm hearing noises this way. And off on this way. All right, if I spin a little, uh, pan the camera a little too much right now. I'm a little on age. That almost sounds like coyotes barking. That sounds like someone talking or gibberish. Who like doing that? Mm, mm. Nope, I'm not making any noise over here. I'm just picking up my stuff and about to uh, head out. T-Mac, you making that noise? Jack, there's something up ahead of me making some noise similar to that. There's a lot of noises my way. smell it just like hit me in the face it's not a bad owner it's almost like a sweet cucumber I'm definitely hearing noises up here Scan with this thermal. Gosh, I don't know if you guys can hear that over all the night. Are you coming back our way? Yeah, you guys opposite from each other? Yeah. T-Mac, I'm 
Jack, are you down by the uh, lake? No. He's up on me. Okay, I'm going to start um, heading out towards you. I think I've seen your light before, so I should be able to find your direction. I'm still getting a lot of noises my way, Jack. I'll be there. I'm going to grab him up and then I'll we'll head your way. That is actually a beautiful view through the woods right there. Hearing a lot of noise, but I can't make out what it is exactly. If you're hearing anything, please drop in the comments that you heard something. Put the timestamp. Negative. Okay, so he says he had a growl this way. Definitely looks like it's going to be an active night. They found each other. There he is. That's Jack. And I'm hearing weird noises up this way. We got something in between us, T Mac. I think it doesn't like it. There's also something up ahead of me. It almost sounds like we got a pack of coyotes. I don't know. So I'm gonna try to not wander too far away from them because they can, I can still see a little bit of their light. Again, a lot of it is having the camera pointed the right way at the right time. A lot of times you just don't know when that time is. That still sounds like dogs, coyotes. Let's do a six check, okay. And then we're going to have to pan around and I'm going to keep a light pointed the other way so that something might think I'm looking that way as well. Because I see we got, we're at a fork in the road. Okay. That is the bike path a bike path that runs through the woods it's a and there's a railroad track right next to it and I'm hoping I can edit these videos together here but That 
was definitely a person screaming. Head over by you, T Mac. Okay. Yeah, that sounded like a person screaming. Yeah, I heard it too. I'm going to start to move back towards you. Okay. I don't feel like running into people. That is not what I'm out looking for. Go. Just had a rock thrown. Just had a rock thrown at me. Copy that. I landed over there, so it probably came from over here. Yeah, instinct is you look at the direction where something hits. Okay, I can see these guys up here. Let me show you. That's their light. I'm wondering if that noise I'm hearing, if that's coyotes, if that's dogs, or I can't tell. There is a bike trail that runs, that's the edge of the property line of these woods. And that bike trail is like open 24 seven. Although I think you'd have to be smoking crack to be riding it at this time of night. However, that also happens. You get friggin' homeless and stuff start wandering along that. Now, I don't have any homeless reports for this area. still like to catch the son of a gun throwing rocks at me. There's something I have I'd like to throw back. <sighs> okay. Have some of my equipment loose and clinking. Okay. Sorry. Okay, I see their lights up ahead this way. So that's the way we're gonna roll. Okay. And I do have, this one is on the low setting. Okay, my, uh, I'm gonna switch it, the new one, or switch it to high. Switch it back to low. So I'm gonna try to conserve the battery. Especially because I see the crew up ahead. So, I don't know if it's dogs or coyotes, but there's some sort of canine up that way, or canines, I should say. And uh, I heard somebody yell, like yeah, probably from a, center. but that was from across the tracks. Yeah, no, I was closer. Okay. It was, it was from across that, uh, that the bike track. Okay. Uh, but I was definitely a person. I mean, I don't know, we'll, I got it on video, we'll analyze it. But my take was it was a person. Yeah, it sounded like a person. So. But they remember. So. Yeah. 
They do, like I said, so I got to preference that. That sounded like, but it sounded like a, it sounded like a woman, a female. Yeah, and we've had that before, screams of a woman. And oh, that's the right, you, the wild woman. Yep. You got, you got the ones that you caught, how the heck did you, the picture you caught on that is freaking, yeah, oh. pretty yeah it's obnoxious. I'm going to do a whoop. Well, I said up there when I started to turn around, I got a rock thrown at me. So maybe we want to go up that way. I don't know. Yeah. All this time. I didn't have the thermal turned on. Okay, got the thermal turned back on. I had it on, but I did not have it. Uh, recording. What'd you get? I, um, I heard something sound like it was moving over here. And then you get some of it. There goes Jack. Some, some kind of a, a vocal or something. What is that? Did you see that? Wait, wait, wait. As you can see, there is like no breeze tonight. Dead quiet, except for a bunch of crickets and cicadas. Tree peepers. Yeah. I mean, you back in there? Someone back there? Let's you can see the path is maintained here. Wow. There goes that. That's that dog. Screen? That's that coyote or dog I was hearing. It's the same one. Got another scream? Yeah. 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 That's the same thing I was hearing. Yeah, that's the same one I was hearing. All right, I'm gonna do a whoop. <laughs> there goes Jack, whooping it up again. Up on me. <laughs> turn the turn the backup light off. And I got. PowerTech is running on low. MT's light is killer bright. <laughs> uh, for a little while. <laughs> My thermal just froze up, so let me try to restart this. What we need to do is that path I was just on. We need to go back up that one. Okay. Okay. At about a nine to ten degree variant. I'm telling you. 
Gotta have sleeves. I, I have one time a year when you don't want to leave. And I said I treated all my clothes are treated and uh then I put on that deep woods off uh tick guard and uh I have nothing bugging I haven't even been buzzed in the ear yet. Okay. So we went up around this way. It is thick through there. No. Where is it? Like oh yeah. It's like something in the ground over here. Oh wait, turn that on that one. It's nice. Look at that. Like a big old right there. Big old paper wasp. Yeah, paper wasp. Yeah. Wow, well, that's pretty high up in the tree. Good. We won't, we won't accidentally run into that one unless something decides to throw it at us. Wow, look at that twisty and windy yeah. tree. Yeah, that's creepy. Like there goes bars, Jack. Like okay, I can see Jack's light up ahead here. There's a huge tree that just fell recently. Mm -hmm. Fresh break. The whole tree was a huge tree. Well, Jack had some something break by him. Uh, earlier when he called me over here. Just heard something that way. It's funny that that weird creepy tree is putting off the most heat. All right. I'll empty. He's looked into your light. Now I'm, I'm revved up like a douche. I'm blinded by the light, you know. Unfortunately, only Gen X and Boomers will get that joke. What is that? Did you hear all that? It's all that commotion by you, cameraman. People coming. Lots of them. That's what I thought. That's why I moved away from there, as I thought. I've run into roots here before. Yeah. The bike trail. There's people who, uh, and I think they're insane, where, but they, the they go. The bike trail is not this way. So yeah. Yeah, it's right up around here. I followed it oh, up the to the. the off-road one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The. Yeah, there is like a, a dirt trail they'll ride their bike on. Mm. No, the paved one is not far from here. I just, I made... Yep. Oh, I lost my direction. I thought yep. it was like, I thought it was back that way. Nope, I was just up here. This is radiator. I smell that sweet smell. Yeah, it smells like cucumbers. Yeah, cucumbers. That's what I said. It sounds like a sweet cucumber. It's that same spot, though. Why? Hey, where, is this by the um, paved trail? The paved trail is just up ahead there because I found it. That's when I when I seen that trail, and I, that's where I heard the, yeah, I the, it was the, the woman scream, and that's when I said, you know what, there's people this way because that's the bike trail, the paved trail. Yeah, they probably were riding their bikes. I didn't see any eye shine. See, see, there's the. There's the bike trail. And when you see this trail, this is like blacktop pavement on the thermal. It'll show up like 
black as night, huh? I could have swore I heard about it. Yeah, those people coming towards us. Okay, yeah. I really lost my sense of direction. I thought we were facing the opposite way. Well, MT, I wouldn't have been able to dispute you if I hadn't have just been up here. Yeah. So. How they wind around like this, easy to get thrown. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because a lot of the things curve almost circular. This is crazy. I know I got it on film, man. Yeah, all the sounds? Yeah. Yeah, we did too. We heard it. Yeah, we heard it. We heard some. I called it out because I'm like, I hear a bunch of people and all of them. Yeah. Right. Hey y'all, this is very strange and um, I could have swore there was uh, a lot of things coming towards us. MT, you heard it, right? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, Mac, you heard well, it? you heard it. I think you just heard I'm going to put the... Ears it sounds on. like what I heard. No, no. Sorry, I'm messing with equipment. I have some things that boost my hearing. Uh. Here, I'm empty. Could you hold my camera here just for a second? Put this in. And, uh, I can put the... I can hear an airplane going overhead. I heard that same commotion, but now I just heard it from back there. Like a little bit ago. Ten seconds ago. So. Yeah, I felt it on my neck. Yeah, I felt it on my right arm here like this one. Let's go hit that trail and go to the other. Yeah. And hit the other side? Yeah. Okay. That's weird, man. That is just freaking weird. Pull the ears off. Yeah, I got, I know I got the lady screaming again. It was like, <laughs> like a weird, like it went into like a woman screaming and then I like. It's like a banshee. Yeah. I caught it on there too and I thought what for sure. Fuck? Person, but I forgot about the the wild lady. I'll keep recording till we get up onto the pike path. You all seen that thing flying through the air at me, and I was like, "Oh, it landed right by me." And you guys were like, "Yeah, you seen it." When we were hanging around in that area, I remember now. Um, I went a little further towards where that big ravine that divides the section. Yeah. And when I was over there, there was some shit that got thrown on the ground. All right. So I'm going to end this, and we're going to be taking a long walk over to the other side of this claim. All right. This is T Max American Experience. Signing off. Thermal first.